have probably seen the experiment where you leave a tooth in Coca-Cola overnight and the Coca-Cola dissolves the tooth. Uh, this is a similar experiment that you can do which shows the effect of phosphoric acid, which is in Coca-Cola and Dr. Pepper and Pepsi and various other drinks, on plastic, on just simple everyday plastic. Now, as we do this experiment, I want you to think about the effect that this stuff that we drink so regularly is having on your body. Um, because I think you'll see that it has quite an effect just on everyday objects. And for this experiment, all you're going to need is a steel bowl, a uh, non-anodized steel bowl, um, about a liter of Coca-Cola. I have a two liter right here. So you're going to need that. And then you're going to need some plastic utensils. Um, I've just got a couple of uh, forks and spoons, doesn't really matter uh, much except they have to be that white plastic, it'll say uh, PEAT 3 on the back, um, and that's all we'll need for our experiment. Now for the next step of our experiment, we're going to take the plastic utensils, place them in the bowl, um, just kind of scatter them around. And then what we're going to actually do is pour the Coca-Cola on the spoons and utensils, okay? And watch out because sometimes uh, pop fizzes over when you open it. So I'm going to pour it into this bowl here. And basically you just want to fill, you just want to cover up the plastic. Um, it'll float a little bit so you're probably going to need a little bit. Okay, that's probably enough. Okay, so once you've done that, basically now you just need to wait. Um, let it sit for about 17 hours, so I'm going to do that now. Alright, so it's 17 hours later. Um, basically left it out overnight. You may notice at this point that the Coke is sort of cloudy. Uh, that's basically because the phosphoric acid in the coke has started to eat away at the ethylene in the plastic utensils. Now you may also notice, and this is the interesting thing, that the utensils have kind of bonded together. Um, I can kind of, let's see, let me try to, I'll try to pull apart one. Um, here we go. Okay, so you might have noticed here that the utensils have bonded together, creating just one type of utensil. So that's it. That's a simple experiment that you can do uh, on your own with just some coke and a couple uh, forks and spoons. Thank you.